Hopkins and Hillers girls volleyball finished the 2017-2018 season with 22 wins and 3 losses overall. The Hillers fell to Newton North in the Division I state championship. It was the first time the Hillers girls volleyball team competed in the Division I bracket. This year's team may be a younger team, but features some of the returning talent from last year's Division I state runner-up. Uh, hi, I'm Mia Ardilla and I'm a setter. Jenna Wilworth, I'm an outside hitter. I'm Lydia Rudden and I'm a DS. Head coach Margie Grabmeyer and this year's captains are excited to get the season started. Um, I think practices are going really good. I think there's a ton of new energy on this team, but I think it's a ton of young energy and we're all super excited to have the season start. And to get playing. I think the team this year is going to be full of a lot of new players and a lot of returners too, so it's going to be a good mix to get all the new players accustomed to everything that we're doing and I think they're going to be able to bring a lot of energy and a lot of skill to the team too, so I think it's going to be a really successful season. Um, practice is going really well, um, everyone's working really hard and the energy has been so high um, since tryouts. So I think if we keep up the um, hard work, then our season's going to go very well. Uh, how's it uh, been working with this group so far? It's been a great start to the season so far. We did lose some um, some height and some experience from last year's team, and the girls are stepping right up. I mean, we haven't really missed a beat in the first two practices, so I'm excited for the enthusiasm. Um, it's just a great vibe on this team. And. Uh, what would you say the expectation is for this team after going to the state championship for the first time in Division One last year? Oh, I don't think, I think every team has high expectations. It's just kind of built into the fiber of the program at this point. But I think that um, these girls aren't going to be happy unless they know that they're playing their best. We have a few scrimmages this week that are going to kind of set the tone so they know what they'll need to work on in order to compete at a high level. So this week is going to be pretty telling. And then we start right off next Wednesday, first game versus Ashland at home. All right, uh, and what are some of the things that you're working on right now here in these uh, early practices? Oh, actually kind of getting to know each other. These girls, it's a new team, so they haven't played with each other yet. So we're kind of working on just, you know, timing and um, basics, you know, just trying to get through basic skills and just fine tuning. So. All right, Coach. Well, we're looking forward to another season. It should be a lot of fun as usual. It's, I think it's going to be a really fun season. So let's get some uh, butts in the seats. Get a lot of fans out here. Uh, I think I, I think all of us can say that we have really high expectations. I think this is a really fun team, and I think we're going to make really great friendships, which is going to make us play harder for each other. And I think we're going to go far this year. I agree. I think that we can definitely make it as long as we set our goals high. I know this team can perform just as well as we did last year. Is there any personal goals you got stats-wise or just to do something better? Um, I personally want to do better passing, like more consistency with my passing. Um, me too, get harder serves and just uh, work hard for my teammates too. Yeah, I'm going to be hitting this year, so I want to try to make myself as consistent as possible. Terrific. And uh, lastly, how's it working with this group? Are you enjoying it? Oh, yeah. I, I think we have a fun group. Yeah, it's so fun. Where is he? The truck, I can't see it there. You're going to be able to see Wait it. Wait a minute. Yeah. It's pitfall. Get in there.